too, so we can direct people. And welcome back. Well, first up this morning, a woman who loves to cook whole, natural, and unrefined foods. Sounds boring, doesn't it? Like you wouldn't really taste, you wouldn't want to have it. Exactly. You want it because it wouldn't taste very good, but she's all about eating for healing and enjoying it too. Yeah, so today more about her gluten-free, dairy-free, and refined, <coughs> excuse me, refined <laughs> sugar-free recipes. Hallie Klecker writes a blog that is called Daily Bites, and she is the author of several books. Today she is here with some super healthy snack ideas to get you going and have some healthy things you actually enjoy. Nice to have you yeah, here this thank morning. You. Thank Great you so much. Here. Yeah. What, what's, did something change for you in your life? I mean, were you a kid who ate Doritos and Oreos, and now you're a kid <laughs> who eats like carrots and avocados and nuts? <laughs> uh, really, I wasn't. You know, I was raised pretty healthfully. I had a, a really healthy family, but when I started having a lot of my own health issues, I moved closer towards a whole foods diet, incorporating all those vegetables and healthy fats, and that's really what got me back to a place of great health. Like, mm -hmm. what kind of health yeah. issues were you having? Uh, so it started for me with a gluten intolerance, and at mm -hmm. the time, I didn't know it was a food allergy, so I was dealing with chronic fatigue, unexplained weight loss, a lot of digestive symptoms, and um, I didn't even know it. You know, mm -hmm. it was uh, the bread and the pasta. All the things I was eating to try to gain weight were actually causing the harm. Mm -hmm. So I started to look into gluten-free eating, and that was back six, seven years ago when it was not nearly as popular. So I started cooking a lot of my own food from scratch, and um, just really getting back to using whole natural foods, things mm -hmm. like nuts, seeds, vegetables, lean proteins, and that just completely changed my life and my health. Mm -hmm. And how do you feel now compared to how you felt then? Uh, <laughs> tremendously better. <laughs> yes, so much better. And that's, I think, why I'm so passionate about it is because I saw in my own health just the transformation that food made. So mm -hmm. I'm excited to share that with other people too. Yeah, yeah and you've written some, a bunch of different books, mm -hmm. um, one yeah. specifically about kale. We have it. Um, is that the kale uh, book kale right there? Kale is my ebook. Yep. Oh, so so it's, kale yep. is the ebook. Okay, yep. but there we have it. Um, Crazy for kale is, is the one I was thinking of. But on the cover of, of one of your books um, is looks like a no bake cookie or some kind of cake. Yes, that's one of your. Yes. kind of go-to so, snacks, right? Right. So Super Healthy Cookies is a book I wrote because I love treats and sweets just like everybody else, but I wasn't going to sacrifice my health to indulge. I was going to create healthier treats. So here I have um, my carrot cake bites, which are actually a recipe not in my book. They're on my blog, and they're just a raw, no-bake treat. They're made with walnuts, cashews, carrots, dates. I got to taste one. <laughs> yeah, pass one. All right, those girls you over. Yeah. Thank there you. you go. Okay, so Thank they you. keep going. Yep, so then there's a lot of spices as well, which kind of give them that carrot cake flavor. It's really good. Mm. And then allspice, ginger, which are very anti-inflammatory, great for mm. just keeping the body um, really, you know, keeping that inflammation down, which is a big issue when you're dealing with gluten. Is there allergies. orange peel in there? There is. There's a little so bit of orange. So good. It's really delicious. Yeah. So mm. no flour, no sugar, no, no baking. No baking either. So they're great. You can keep them in your freezer. I tell people mm. to make them at the beginning of the week. Keep a whole batch. You can eat it all week long. Delicious. Okay, so... They you don't taste of, like they're th that healthy. I know. <laughs> I mean, they, they taste, you know, they taste really good. <laughs> um, and I love that. I think they're really tasty. And I love that you kind of separated mm -hmm. our snacks for us. So you've yeah. got sweet, sweet here. And then here we have savory. So okay. people are really afraid of fats, like mm -hmm. avocados. And we'll talk about the coconut oil in a minute. Fats are actually really balancing for blood sugar and for metabolism. So one of my favorite options is to just cut an avocado in half, sprinkle it with some herbs, sprinkle, add some veggies. And that's a wonderful snack. Very high in anti-inflammatory fat will keep you satisfied and will keep mm -hmm. cravings down. So not everybody likes sweet. Sometimes you want to go with savory. So that's a really good option there. Mm -hmm. And then here we've got salty. So who doesn't love the salty? For sure. <laughs> I know addiction. so many people who buy those cans of salted nuts. And mm -hmm. I really would encourage you to make it yourself. So and these are just a roasted, um, just a blend of nuts that I seasoned with sea salt, a little okay. bit of okay. rosemary, and then some coconut oil, which is a great mm. oil for roasting and cooking at higher heats. These oh, wow. are delicious. Do you have that recipe on your blog? I do. I have a similar one with some more spices and things. Mm. Great for the holidays. Do you start with raw nuts? Yep, just raw, plain, any type of nut you like. You could use anything. Those my are delicious. That is really good. Could you do the same thing with almonds? You could, yep. And I like to pair it with a piece of fruit um, mm -hmm. just to give you a little bit of healthy fat with that fruit so it doesn't spike your blood sugar. Again, keeps you nice and satisfied. Mm -hmm. huh. I think that's great. What's your, um, your kind of philosophy on snacks? Are you kind of somebody who tends to do smaller meals throughout the day? Yeah, you know, I think you should only eat when you're hungry, but I definitely think that smaller balanced meals through the day will just give you a, a wider variety for a lot of people who just, you know, they don't want to eat one big meal and be done. Um, but it also, it keeps your blood sugar stable. So if you have that snack at three in the afternoon, you'll be less likely to go and eat the whole refrigerator at seven o'clock at night. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, only eat when you're hungry. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> 
that's a great idea. <laughs> Unfortunately, not all of us do that, but that's a great idea. I'm a grazer, yeah, yeah. sometimes. That's true. Yeah. But that's good because a lot of these you can put in a little baggie and take with you, right. and you don't They're have to worry for about or um, airports. Yeah. It's so hard to find a healthy snack when you're traveling. True. So make it yourself. You'll be set. That's fantastic. Right. So where can people find your best snack ideas? Um, definitely on my blog. It's Daily Bites, dailybitesblog.com. I post new recipes there every week, and snacks are one of my favorites, so there's lots there. Good. Awesome. I was right. doing new stuff, which I like. Okay, so yeah. once again, that address for you is on the screen as well as some of the covers of different books that Hallie's written for your viewing pleasure. And the website, again, is dailybitesblog.com. Awesome. Thanks, Hallie. Yeah, thank Delicious. You. Really good. Mm -hmm.